Hey guys, welcome to our review of Kishidi Sentai Re Soldier, episode 41. As always, I'm your host, Frozen Stratos. Here with me today, we have. The Center Blaze. My dude, welcome back. Uh, this is definitely not our third time trying to review this episode, but we watched it yesterday so that you guys could comment on the video, but I was too lazy to edit it, so this video is just coming up um, without any comments. But this was such a good episode. Uh, a lot went into making this uh, as entertaining as it was, but the way it culminated um, to its ending... Uh, I, I just loved it. And I was fully expecting a train wreck coming into more plot, but they're they're sticking the landing so far. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for them to face plant. Absolutely face plant. But for now, it's a really good time, and I care about the end game of these characters. Or at least two of them. At most yeah. two. Yeah. Like uh, just in case you hated all the Ryu soldiers. Can at least care about these guys because yeah. their lives are in their hands. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, coming into this episode, what were you thinking, and where are you now? Now that we're here, already watched it. Honestly, I felt like this was going to be a very boring previous episode, mm -hmm. but it quickly turned into a crayon episode, and I was just like, "He's easy one of my favorite villains, <laughs> yeah. and." and Villains, like a very loose interpretation of the word villain. Yeah, and like to be honest, I should have like expected this because uh, something like this happened in uh, Pro Uger with Candle Arena and like the other pumpkin dude, like Hero. Yeah, like Hero. Yeah, because like they're very similar type of characters, and they turned around like the same time. Uh, but for like these guys, I feel like they did a little bit worse. But they were also a lot more fleshed out. So, like... Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, those two, like, you're from Croatia, were also fleshed out. Like, I think the pink one especially. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, like, across, like, this entire series, those guys didn't have any ill intentions. Like, Weisel just wants oh, to, yeah, like, entertain yeah. anyone, everyone. And, like, Crayon has had, like, those weird episodes where he's just, like, sometimes he just wants to chill out with the bro. <laughs> <laughs> And, like, you can't really hate him for stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and like, you know what? To what you were saying about the Kiryuji comparison, they do feel, as as much as it, like, mirrors that trajectory, they do feel like very different characters. Like, Candarelia, um, and even to an extent, Luckyro, you saw their, their change of heart, but really they fell into their pre-assigned archetype because she was all about love and happiness and he was all about, you know, like, love and happiness. I get, you know, it, it was an extension of her, so it, it was sort of that natural progression. But here, they sought out to do bad-ish, like, yeah. for the joy of it, and they're just like, man, these guys are, like, actually evil, evil. We can't, that's not what we do here. We're here to have fun. And this yeah. sort of ruining it? And we gotta get out of here, man! Yeah. Oh, and, I love it. And, like, if you go all, like, meta on this, like, when Crayon was first introduced with, like, Tank Joe, like, you had a feeling that, that those two were gonna be the duo for a while. And, like, the second they replaced him with Weisel, like, that chemistry was so freaking fire. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I was honestly surprised Weisel was staying as long as he was, because we kind of expect him to go out in, like, ten episodes, oh, like oh, Tank sure. Joe did. And, like, we're looking at it as, like, episode 30. Like, this guy ain't dying until the end game. <laughs> and now I'm just, like, episode 40, I hope he doesn't die. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hope he makes it to the home stretch. Like, give Red all the power ups. Just make sure he lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please defend this guy. Because I have a feel. I, I know Booger Boy's making it out of here. But Weisel, pity pity. Like, I'm very scared. And you know what? Like, this is something I wasn't expecting. Actual stakes going into the end game of this show. Like, I didn't think I'd care this much. Especially yeah. for how poorly they've been handling the plot. So I very much appreciate that this is this is engaging, it's interesting, and that's not even, like, 
the bulk of the episode. That was at least half. Um, The other half was some really fun world building. Um, And I said this, I think, either once or twice in the two times we definitely didn't try to record this. um, Where we are seeing a lot more of the Reusold tribe members, or at least former Reusold tribe members, um, than I initially thought we would. And every time they're bringing something interesting to the table, and this one brought such a dynamic with gold, which I really feel like they could have played up a little better, um, yeah. the, the sort of conflict between the two. But um, I don't know. I, I, I thought it was much needed um and it's it's really soft rounding out those those hard edges that gold's had for me not necessarily that the characters had i just really haven't liked you know his direction up until recently yeah like honestly i've loved kamlo from like the get-go and one thing that i felt was like missing was the water reusal tribe like Mm -hmm. whenever like i would like trying to imagine that tribe, I just imagine like an empty ass ocean with just a dinosaur Conlo and then like randomly his sister, you know, like uh-huh. yeah, it's, like it's so strange that they make no effort to make the place look populated at all. But like Conlo's also like on this journey to like kind of you know find a mate. Like he's doing it with such urgency that we think that they're like getting driven to extinction. Yeah, yeah. And then like there's like another one of them. That was supposedly, you know, his betrothed and whatnot. So there's probably there's definitely like a lot more people there. Hopefully it's not just like the two families. But yeah. uh like honestly, I wish that she would like stick around for another episode. Just cause I want I would rather her have like that relevancy that the other Reusol tribe members had. Like I know some of them probably like dip out after an episode or so, <laughs> but for someone like of that closest to like Conlo, like, mm. come on, just like imagine if like Red's brother or something like showed up or something like that. Like he would stick around for a while, and like basically he did because he was Guy's org, he wasn't his brother, mm-hmm. but you know, essentially it was. But I I do like her story and you know like chasing her ambitions and and being able to break the mold and not you know have to marry someone. Uh, I don't yeah. know. I I really like that. Um, it's, I, like, the way that they handled it, like, sure, there was sort of conflict between her and Conalo, but he really did want the best for her. And, honestly, that's, I mean, all you can really hope for. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was well handled. Yeah, like, Um, it was definitely, like, respecting her and her decision. Absolutely. This was so weird because it's kind of out of character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So I have a feeling that I uh, I'm going to lag out very soon. So did you have any other thoughts before we finish up? No. Fantastic. All right, guys. If you like this episode, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to hear more from us each week. Tell us in the comments down below what you thought about us, our thoughts on this episode, and hey, keep it juicy. Yep. See ya. All right, good. We made it. We ah uh, yes, we did it. Yeah! Nine minutes. Ah! <laughs> okay, that was. You were scared me for a second because, like, I think six minutes in, you're you're just kind of like <laughs> for like the longest time, oh, and like, man. <laughs> your audio would still.